welcome back to my channel today we have a very interesting subject called a cal de sac something that look at this picture here you can see there is a nice turnaround what we call that there is usually a turnaround at the end of the street mostly used to access the residential areas so you can see in this example we have a nice sac I zoom in you can see there is a there is a gutter here just after the asphalt pavement there is a gutter with a curb also with the sidewalk sidewalk attached it should be a concrete so what i want to show you how to draw such a thing is not so where do we start so we are going to start uh, with the cross section so i'm going to open uh, the drawing Showing a sample cross section of a residential road. This one is a okay. We can use this one. So it's just a sample of a cross section. Just a uh, urban environment. It's an urban local standard section. We're going to use this one. So you can see that the right of way is 50 feet. Is the right of way 50 feet we have uh, 28 feet flow line to flow line flow line is usually the lowest point of the gutter that the water goes through or the way the water passes through so after the flow line if i zoom in you can see that after the flow line is where we have the edge of the pavement so after the edge of the pavement we have a nice gutter and curb then after the curb we have a sidewalk so total and that is where we have uh, 28 feet flow line to flow line So what we are going to do is you're going to draw first the right of way 50 feet so i'm going to draw a line here it's going to be 300 just an arbitrary figure then i'm going to offset that 50 feet that is my right of way as in the cross section so, put this one. This one is the right of same case to this one. right of. So after that, that is uh, 50 feet. As you can see in this cross section, that is 50 feet. So the next thing I'm going to establish is the center line of the road so i'm going to offset 25 get to the center line of the road to change that to a different line type for you to be able to see so that is the center line of the road it will be 25 feet Right on. So the next thing I want us to do draw a circle at the end. That is that should be the circle mark of the curl the circle. I'm going to draw a circle of radius 50. This uh, this circle should be also the right of way at the cal de sac 
But after that, I'm going to draw two circles. I'm going to draw two circles using the turn turn radius command. The key point here is turn turn radius command. So I'm going to select the circle command. Then I'm going to use the option of uh, TTR or turn turn radius. Select that. So specify the point or object for the first tangent. Is a, and click anywhere along this line. Then uh, the second object, I have to click the circle. The radius of that small circle to be 25. Is that and then I'm going to repeat the same for the other side turn turn radius first object second object 25 so now up to that stage you end up with a nice looking Mickey Mouse as you can see before you start before you start to trim so then I'm going to trim the unwanted lines. I'm going to trim that. So once you draw the circles correctly, trimming should be straightforward. And you end up with a nice looking the sack, which is uh, taking a ship. So I'm going to connect, I'm going to join those individual segments into one. You can see this is a polyline. This is a knack, this is also a knack, so you can see part of a circle. So I want to join these uh, lines, these segments into one. I'm going to use the polyline edit command. I'm going to use the multiple option, I select the objects. Then you want to convert lines ax polylines as a yes. Then I'll use the option join. Now you can see now that's one object. So that is my right off way. Next thing I want us to do is uh, we'll go back to the cross section. You can see now the we want to establish the flow line. Which is 28 feet flow line to flow line. That means from the right of way, we have uh, 50 minus 28 should be 22. So we are going to offset uh, 11 feet. From the right of way to get to the flow line. So the flow line like like we saw in the cross section should be twenty-eight feet. But there's uh, one thing you should note that is not the edge of the pavement. So we need to establish the edge of the pavement further the edge of the pavement between the edge of the pavement and the flow line is a gutter you're going to use a typical gutter width but two feet so i'm going to offset two feet the flow line to get now to the edge of the pavement here now we have the edge of the pavement. You can shade these uh, pavement with a hatching pattern to show that uh, that is where the asphalt goes. There we have. Uh, There we have the pavement. We have a nice pavement here. Done. So the next thing we need to define is a curb. 
fill the cab and get a joint that the section of the cab is usually have a fit so I'm going to offset uh, 0 0.5 per foot so now we have the cab you're also going to define you're going to use a typical pad of coffee I'm going to offset, going to offset a cab line, a four feet, to get to the walkway. So I'm also going to create another pattern so that you can see the walkway clearly. I'm going to hatch the walkway using a solid color and now you have a nice looking color sack you can copy a yeah. so we have uh, the pavement you have a gutter a floor line the curb and a walkway now between the edge of the walkway and the right of way is now where you have other other utilities going through maybe you could have water you could be having gas you could be having underground electricity but that is an area as you can see it is it is a set out could be used for for utilities so the other thing I wanted to, to you to know is that I uh, have different standards of uh, cal de sacs. So I've grown a very simple cal de sac using the radius of uh, 50, a turning radius of 25 at the right of way. So know that when you offset uh, cal de sac, the radius at the turning radius at the edge of the pavement becomes larger so you, you will measure uh, these radius you can see these radius is, is that it fits but uh, you may have uh, different typical drawings of cal de sacs it indicating the radius maybe at the edge of the pavement at the cab line or maybe at the right of way but the procedure is basically the same so let us look at some of the examples so you can see these are some of the examples turnarounds of cal de sac you can see this one is using a, a radius of 52 feet at the right of the 25 feet at the floor line and this other one is just 52 feet similar and the 25 feet at the at the end at the edge of gutter so you may have uh, different types different uh, standards of the the cal de sac or the turnarounds depending on the, the area or the jurisdiction that you are in so let us also look at the rural local type and see this one is much much different has a larger radius of 65 feet also the pavement is turning at a radius of 47 feet the smaller radius is uh, 25 feet so you can can use the same procedure going that you call the sack. Really a simple method. I hope you've learned. So if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section. Thank you guys.